There's a lot at stake tonight. There's no doubt about that. And it's a tight game too. Linda's on $25. Chris is on $40. And Louise, the champ, in the lead on $70. Here we go. The elimination round. Before the invention of the telegraph, I used to transmit messages between this... Chris? Morse code. No, between distant points was which method of signalling by means of flags we needed semaphore. 18th century composer Thomas Arne added substantially to the English heritage of song with compositions such as Rule Watts. Linda. Britannia. That's right. Cash card time and Louise, you have the opportunity to play. Now you want to pay off the house, don't you? Here is $5,000 cash. It'll cost you $15 to play. At the moment, you have a lead of $35. No way. Does that mean no? <laughs> you sure that means no? <laughs> yes, no. We've got it going everywhere here. I'll bump it up to $10,000 if you want to play. No. What if I added some more to it? No. All right. Three times no. I can take no for an answer. Louise, hypothetically, which suit would you have gone for? Spades. 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 You did your best there, Gordon. I certainly tried. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what would have would have been. Okay, Karina, what would have been? Oh, it would have been the take five. So not Might to be. Handy. The money was with clubs, though. So that's where all the money was tonight. So nothing changing here. The champ's still in the lead on seventy dollars. On with the questions. Focusing on British art dating from 1550 and 20th century international modern art is which London gallery, beginning with T. Louise. Tate. Tate is right. Dying in 1987, Spanish musician Andre Segovia was acclaimed in his time, Louise? Guitar. That's right, uh, as the foremost player of which instruments? Last opportunity to pick some money up off the board. $25 in the wild card has been added. Now, Linda, you are trailing by just one question, so you do need a correct answer here and some money simply to stay in the game. Who am I? Born in England in 1894 and dying in 1963, I became partially blind while studying at Eton, but retained enough eyesight to read, and later graduated from Oxford University. Publishing three collections of poems and a book of short stories, I became a major author in the early 1920s with my first two published novels, Chrome Yellow and Antic Hay. These witty satires on the pretensions of the English literary and intellectual elite were, Louise? Evelyn Waugh? No were followed by two works in a similar vein, those barren leaves and point counterpoints. Portraying a nightmarish vision of a future society in my most famous novel, Brave New World, my first name is Chris. Aldous Huxley. I am Aldous Huxley. That's the answer we needed, Chris. And this is a very important pick for you. You're on $35. If you pick the $25, takes you up to $60 within four questions of the champ. So, Imre Chris. Alberici, please. Sorry? Imre Alberici. OK, good luck. Here's Emma. No money, but here's a prize that's bound to cause a gurgle. These baby care products include bottles, teethers and toys valued at $500 from the first years. Nice prize, Chris. How old are the kids? 16 and 18. <laughs> well, anyhow, nice prize. Um, Karina, where was the money, though? Marg Heldenberger had the wild card, David Rain had the 10, Kate Kendall had the 15 and Jim Whaley had the $25. Thanks, Karina. And, Linda, you did need some of that money to stay in the game. So, unfortunately, we do have to say goodnight, but thank you very much for playing. Thanks very much. Chris is on $35, Louise is on $80. It's all on the line as we go into the Mad Minute. At the end of it, nearly $350,000 in cash and prizes for our chat. We'll be back right after this break. Might. Coming up, two great auctions, two nail biting outcomes. Going, going. In the season final of Location, Location, next on Channel 9. Time for the Mad Minute, so let's find out what's going to happen. Steve Harper was the only champ in sales history to take everything, but along the way, score over $100 on every occasion. Louise. You could do that also. Tonight, you're on $80. You're $20 off that $100 mark, but we've still got a long way to go. You're on 80. Chris is on 30. So for the game, good luck to you both. The pressure's on. 60 seconds up on the clock, and your time starts now. Something that jogs the memory is set to ring a what? Chris. Bell. Yes, yeah, so beginning with R is which Italian soft cottage cheese? Louise. Ricotta. Yes, yeah, so what is the basic currency unit of South Africa? Louise. The Rand. Yes, yeah, so beginning with E is which flag flown by a ship? It's Louise. Ensign. 
Yes, uh, considered the founder of modern psychoanalysis is Sigmund who? Louise. Freud. Yes, a champion of which sport was Mickey Mantle? Louise. Baseball. Yes, sir. Uh, for how many years did Britain lease Hong Kong? Louise. 100. 99. Normally pulled by a what is the vehicle called a sulky? Louise. Of course. Yes, uh, which mania is an uncontrollable desire to set things on fire? Chris. Pyromania. Yes, uh, what was the first name of Australian Prime Minister Lyons? Louise. Joseph. Yes, symbolising which sign of the zodiac is the archer? Louise. Sagittarius. Yes, what is the name of King Arthur's legendary palace? Louise. Camelot. Yes, who founded Italy's fascist party? Louise. Mussolini. Yes, uh, used for hoisting objects is a block and what? Chris. Tackle. Yes, uh, the film classification PG stands literally. Louise. Parental guidance. Doesn't matter, you've won the game. Congratulations, and that was the right answer, too. So well done, Louise. Well, ah, fantastic effort. And uh, as we say, Steve Harper was the last champ to do that. And Louise, congratulations because you've won every night, won it convincingly, and had to finish off with a score of $130. Congratulations. Oh, Louise, well done. Thank you. Uh, Chris, bad luck. Very hard night to be with us. But you do leave us with baby care products. <laughs> <laughs> a total of $500, That's so um, maybe the kids will get some use out of it one day. <laughs> Tough night, Chris, and a very special night to be a part of, and thank you very much yes. for playing. And uh, both you and Linda will have these gifts. They'll have good times ahead, Glenn, with the sale of the Century board game from Crown and Andrews and our exclusive solid sterling silver pin from Shimani Jewelry and Sale of the Century. Congratulations, Louise, Thanks, once Louise. again. Ah, you're glad it's all Finally, over? yes. Now, you were looking very yes. cool and calm there, I were you? I feeling it, no. No? Well, that's a fabulous score, $130. So, let's go shopping. Here we go. Because it's all yours. Fantastic prizes. Look at those beautiful Alpha White Renault 147s to Newcastle. We're going to have a look at some of the prizes which you have won, and you have done incredibly well whilst you've been here on sale. For example, there was the golf clubs. You'll be able to enjoy those. The house, we've got the bathroom renovations. Also for the house, there's the floor coverings. You're going on a fantastic trip to Seoul, Korea. You'll love that. There's the audio-visual package. Boy, the house has done well out of all this, hasn't it? <laughs> and still with the house, there's the furniture too. And to top it off, last night you won them, you risked them, and you've won them again tonight. The fantastic brand new Alfa Romeo 147s, and here they are. The Alfa 147 has arrived, the prestige compact sports car that offers style and performance of the highest level. Voted European Car of the Year for 2001, the 147 boasts an unrivaled level of safety, including no less than six airbags and ABS brakes with electronic brake force distribution. The ergonomically designed interior includes sports seats, CD player and central computer system. The 147's unique racing form makes it the most dynamic car on the road and is priced from $38,500. Tonight's amazing package of two cars is valued at $77,000 plus on road costs. Alfa Romeo, the heart and soul of sports cars. And the fitting a champion and vehicle of this caliber, our sterling silver and gold medallion key ring valued at $2,000 from Germani Jewelry. So there you go, the fabulous 147's, they're yours. Hold on to the key ring. That's from Germani Jewellery. And in total, you have picked up an awful lot of money. But let's have a look at our cash jackpot, because here it is. Tonight's Save of the Century cash jackpot totals $182,000. $182,000. Add that to everything else you've picked up whilst you've been with us. And you have won $354,117 worth of cash and prizes. Congratulations. Mm. Anything you want to say? Uh, well, I would just like to thank Channel 9 and Grundy's um, and my mum and dad for all their support back in Adelaide. Thank you. And you're glad well, it's all over, aren't you? Glenn's really got well, some fabulous you. flowers there for you as well. Now, we will be seeing Louise in the very near future because Super Sale has been extended. We have a whole new series coming your way and Louise will be joining some of our other current champs and they will be taking on our Super Sale champ, Tom Beck to see who is going to win Super Sale. So we look forward to seeing you really, really soon for that. And uh, we look forward to having three new contestants tomorrow night, don't we? It'll be good fun, huh? Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I we look forward back. to your company at the same time. So until then, take care, won't you? Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>